Okay, hey guys, it's Kirsten. So uh, this image was given to me um, because they wanted to salvage something for mom because it was such a tender moment. And I guess she does have the rest of the baby's body in another picture so she can merge that later. I'm just here to figure out how to um, get fix, fix this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, I think, is the select object, object selection, and just tell Photoshop Let's select this. Oh my gosh, that's a terrible decision. Okay, we're gonna start over again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the quick select tool. Now we don't care. Well, it's selecting anyway. We don't care about the baby because she's in the good fabric. We want to do something like this. Hold down the Alt key to make it negative because we're going to get a little tighter in there. It's hard because the colors are very similar to each other. That is good enough. Okay, we don't care about anything down here because the fabric is good down there. So I think this is good. And then we're going to hit Select and Mask. Everything is zero over here. We're just going to go around his head. Maybe around his bum and around his foot, even though we're going to give him a new foot. And then I think we have to hit invert. And then for output, you want new layer with a layer mask and then hit OK. Then we are going to turn the background layer on and select the background layer. Okay. From there, we're going to get the gradient tool. We want the top to be, where is it? Foreground to transparent, which is this one right here. And then for the color, we're going to hold down the Alt key and select like a good color like right here. Actually, it's kind of brighter over here, so maybe a nice good mid color right like that. Okay, so with the first linear background selected, uncheck reverse. I guess it doesn't matter. You can go top to bottom, bottom to top. Oh my gosh, hang on one second. I'm an idiot. I want to click over here. Okay, we're well, on, on the wrong layer. We want to click on this over here. Okay, so we're probably going to have to go down a couple times until I get it. Kind of how we want it. All right, I think that's going to be like as best as it's going to get. I'm going to click back over here on the layer mask and we want to get a black brush. Right click, make sure the hardness is at 0%, which it is. And I'm just gonna go in, oh my God, Wilson's barking. And I'm gonna get in all the original stuff back here because the original stuff is fine. And you know what, now that I'm seeing, I'm gonna go back over here and click on the gradient again, hit Alt, and select a darker color right here. I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of the shadow. Okay. I'm gonna click back on the layer mask and just bring in a little bit. Now, if you overdo it, like right here, Click on the white, because that will paint it off again. Paint it on again. Whoops. So we want white. White reveals, black conceals. So we're just going to paint like this.
Whoops. I think I got a little bit in his hair. Okay, perfect. Um, let's just trace around his bum. Just kind of blend that a little bit like that. Okay, now another thing we can do, let's click back over here. Um, in with this, we have the smudge tool. I think this is what I did on the last one. Where was that? Maybe it's on the original. Let me try this one. So this just blends the edge. make it not quite so sharp. So that's an option. Um, another thing we can do is hit uh, Control J, which makes a duplicate copy of the background. Then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe like 12. Hit OK. I'm going to drag this above. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Drag it below again. Hold down the Alt key and hit Layer Mask. So it's going to make a black layer mask. Get a white brush. Let me see if this is going to work. I might have to. Yeah, it's not quite. It's just blending out. Or, um, blurring out the background. You can blur out the wrinkles. I love blurring seamless paper. It makes it, it's the smoothing hack. Okay. Then this poor little kid needs a foot, right? So was it this copy that has the foot on it? I think so. So we're going to click the top background layer, which I think is, um, let's see, filter and liquify. Nope, that's the wrong copy. So hit cancel. Let's click on this one, the middle layer, filter liquify. OK. so. What I did was I just kind of reshaped his foot like this to make it look like he was actually crawling on the seamless paper. All right, let's just do that. Hit OK. But I think this is covering it up. So we want to go to the layer mask. White reveals. So I think we want it on white, right? Ah, maybe black. Then click on white. That's what I did before. Just kind of build a little, whoops, what am I doing? Let's click back over here. Okay. Now I'm going to flatten, because I think it looks good. I'm just going to try the smudge tool one more time. Oh, this is just kind of rounding out his bum. Then I think what I'm going to do is control J, um, filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. 
let's do 12, hit OK, hold down the Alt key and do a layer mask again. Get a white brush. And we're just going to like just kind of. So we want the attention to be on his face and hers. So we want this to look like it's bokehing out in the background. And then I always put it on the background because that makes it look awesome. I love how his little hair is sticking up. That's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and flatten. Um, I kind of like the negative space because um, it always makes the kids look littler um, when it's not a super tight crop. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. And then I'm really curious to see what it looks like once you add this, um, add the other rest of the baby in. But um, that's what I did.